Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here at DocSports.com for Monday, November 2nd, 2020. Free pick coming up on this report. Going to get to that in a moment. First, quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account, which you can use on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com. Quick recap, we'll let you know what's going on on Monday, then we'll get to the Monday Night Football game. Real nice Saturday in college football, cashed four out of five, picked up almost $1,300 for $100 per unit betters. We had a big seven-star, easy, nice, easy winner with West Virginia over Kansas State. We cashed a nice underdog price, plus a buck 35 in UFC, a six-star play on Saturday night. Now, six and one the last seven weeks, going one fight bet per card. We'll talk more about UFC as we get closer to the weekend, six and one the last seven weeks. And then on Sunday, we go 2-2 two and two overall. We won a NASCAR again with Kurt Busch over Jimmy Johnson. We're now 49-25 and 25 heading into next weekend's final race of the season. We'll talk more about that later this week. And also in the NFL, unfortunately, 1-2. and two. The difference between 1-2 and 2-1, two and two and the Baltimore Ravens up 17-7 at the half, held Pittsburgh to 64 first-half yards. Lost a couple of players in the first half, important guys in the trench, one to injury, one to ejection. They don't cash full game bets at halftime. And then we saw uh, accuracy issues with Lamar Jackson in the second half. Throws a couple of picks, goes 13 for 28. And they had two different times where they got in the red zone against Pittsburgh and couldn't score. Hats off to Pittsburgh. What Baltimore couldn't do or couldn't finish, Pittsburgh did and goes to 7-0. All right, uh, here's what's going on for Monday. Obviously, I don't have a premium pick in the NFL because we're going to give you the free pick Monday Night Football right here in just a moment. But I do have EPL, English Premier League Soccer, for those of you who are uh, across the pond football fans, so to speak. Uh, that'll be up and available on Monday morning. It's a day game on Monday, English Premier League action in uh, soccer and we'll look to cash again in the EPL. Uh, also, almost forgot, Maction. We got the Max starting this week in college football on Wednesday. Six big games. We'll talk more about it on tomorrow's video as the Mac gets underway in a couple of days. Let's get to our free pick, our opinion in Monday Night Football. I know no one likes backing a team like the Giants. They don't win games, so it's tough to plunk your money down and back them and take. say, I'm going to take them against a premier or an elite football team. But all but one of their games have been close. Even that season opening loss to Pittsburgh it was a 16 to 10 game early in the fourth quarter. They've only lost one game all season by more than this point spread. Uh, and, and so we've seen them playing hard each and every week so far this year. Tampa's off, off a couple of big wins. It was only, what, three games ago when everybody was saying Tom Brady's done, the Buccaneers are done, uh, he can't count what down it is. That was that loss to Chicago. Now after two weeks of winning big and looking great, everybody's saying, okay, Tampa Bay is now your Super Bowl champion or, or at least a contender. Well, yeah, they are. They are a contender to reach the Super Bowl. But here's the thing. I think they're being overvalued a little bit at this point. Not only off those big games, they got the Saints up next. The Giants have been playing close games for the most part. We're going to recommend to play on the New York Giants plus the points. Right now, as I cut this video, the spread is 12 and a half. Again, the Giants plus the points, our free play, our opinion for Monday. All right, don't forget about Monday's EPL. If you want to jump in on some soccer action, we'll talk and have more Mac football on tomorrow's video for Wednesday's game, so be sure to check that out. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.